Now, I'm going to show you a function that all Photoshoppers love. We wish we had one of these in real life. It is the Command Z or Undo function. There will be many times we'll be working along and we might choose a color and start to drop it and miss where we were going to go. So this is kind of a pain in the butt and to try and fix it by choosing a white with my eyedropper and painting into it, eh, it might work but actually what it does is it leaves all sorts of snaggly little things around so I wouldn't recommend trying to fix things that way. Also take a look at this. It actually replaced part of my color wheel because it bled into there. So I need to undo a couple of these things before I go even further and damage this file beyond all repair. And uh, what we need to take a look at is the history panel. So you may already have it showing. It's got three little boxes with an arrow by it. You can go and get it if you can't find it by going to the window and choosing history. History, there it is. Now everything you do in Photoshop, every time you do an action. So picking a color won't count as an action, but doing something that will affect your document creates a new layer or a new step in this history. And I can do undo in a number of ways. The most common one is just to hit Command Z, which if you go to your edit menu, you can see I've got an undo and then it will list whatever my last step was, which is just Command Z. If I hit Command Z, You'll notice that bottom one went away, that last thing I did went away, and it's back up one. If I hit Command Z again, it will actually redo that. So hitting Command Z a bunch of times just flips between undo and redo. Sometimes we need to go more than just one step, which happens to be what we need to do in this case. So I can do that by either clicking here in my history so you can see as I click back through these, I'm going clear back to the beginning and at any point I can come back down here. Or I could use the step backward command which is under edit and this is step backward. So this little weird symbol next to the command is option. So you'd hold down option command and then hit Z for each time you wanted to step backwards. So I'm going to do that. You can watch over here so it does the same thing. To continue on or if you begin to continue on working with things you'll notice that those older steps disappeared so if you back up and do a new step it will not remember those ones that you just backed up through it'll just have a memory of the stuff before and that is more or less how your history panel and undo states work it's a very useful thing to know I would highly recommend using these key commands because we will use them a lot so command Z undo's and redo's and command option Z steps back in your history now here's one thing though it doesn't have an infinity amount of steps that it can step back. Essentially, it's taking a picture of your entire document for each one of these. And if it had hundreds of those, you would have a really massive file and your computer would get slower and slower and slower. The default that Photoshop is set to is 20 steps. So it will let you go to 20 steps. So let's see if I can create 20 steps real quick. I'm just going to fill these all in. do a couple occasional things. So just watch on this. You definitely don't need to follow along doing this. We'll make real havoc with this poor document. All right, so here we have a whole bunch. Um, in fact, we'll do just a few more for good measure. If I scroll all the way up to the top, my very first option is this first magic wand. It's actually not to the original state of the document. To get back to the original state of the document at any point, no matter how many steps you've gone through, you can click on this very top one, which is going to completely restore the document to the way it was when you opened it. This is really useful if you go beyond repair and you really do want to start over. The thing to remember is, is that is from the time you opened it. So if I worked for a while on this, and then saved my progress, closed the window, and opened it back up, these would be gone. Photoshop does not remember history states between opening the file multiple times. 
Now we can affect how many of these Photoshop actually remembers. So the default is 20. I like mine to be just a little higher than that. To do that, we go to Photoshop menu and choose Preferences. And let's just go to General so you can see how Preferences is set up. Here's Preferences. On the left you have a menu for choosing which one you want to take a closer look at. Um, this is a good thing to look through just to be familiar what sort of options are there. We want to look at Performance. So your history states will be set to 20 or 25. I would suggest moving that up to maybe 30 or 40 depending on the power of your computer. If you've got a really souped up powerful computer, feel free to move that up to 50. I will tell you I've never needed more than 50. Um, pretty much by the time you've done 50 steps you can't remember what was 50 steps ago. Um, so moving it any higher than 50 I feel like just bogs down your computer and there's not much need for it. So then click OK and that will become the way that your history remembers what's going on. So that's History Panel, Command Z, and Command Option Z for undos.